recording. Hello, uh, my name is Sandra in Peoples. I'm a publishing consultant, coaching consultant, and my website is sandrainpeoples.com where you can go to learn how to publish, promote, and sell your own books. Now, this tutorial is called How to Format a Kindle Book for Publishing with Amazon using Microsoft Office Word 2016. Now, if you haven't noticed, in 2016, Microsoft Office 2016, they have made some changes. And some of the changes are pretty easy to pick up, but some of them are not. So, if you're trying to format your book with Kindle follow, following one of the older tutorials that are out there, you may find yourself getting a little lost with trying to find where certain things are in um, in Microsoft Office Word. So I have a document here and the document was already done, but I'm going to see if I can undo all of this stuff here and um, get this all the way back to the beginning where, oh, yeah, just highlight all of this and undo everything. Yes, I want to undo everything. I want to get this document all the way back to the beginning like I had it. Oh, shoot. But um, <laughs> I want to do, I want some of it to stay. <laughs> okay. All right. So what you're looking at here is a document that is ready to be formatted. It, uh, let's pretend like this is going to be our Kindle book here that we want to format. Now, this is some of the stuff that I was talking about that's different. Um, in Microsoft Office Word 2007, maybe 2010, some of the other ones, it's very simple. Like up here, you can click um, the styles thing. And usually before there would be this little drop down and you would see something like simple, elegant, you know, as far as the design and the layout of the book, of the document. But they've changed that. They've added design up here and layout up here. So when you want to design your book, now uh, you can choose design and you can get an, a pre-lay a pre-designed theme per se. So you can use one of these and just alter that if you want to. But what I like to do is I like to go in and just edit all of this stuff myself and create my own overall look and feel for my book because sometime, um, sometimes these pre-designed uh, themes up here may not mesh well with your book if you're trying to uh, upload it to Amazon you might get errors some of the readers might not read it because you know most people read a Kindle book on their phone or their tablet some people might read it on a Kindle reader, but majority of the people that you see downloading a book and reading it is actually reading it on their phone or their tablet. So depending on the kind of phone or tablet that they have, they may not, um, it may not pick up some of the fancier fonts and everything. So I'm going to show you how to simply set up your document to publish with Kindle using the most simplest tools I mean the simplest process that I can think of okay so the first thing we want to do there are three or four main parts depending on the kind of book that you're writing that you need to focus on in your book that's going to be the normal tab right here heading one heading two and title because this is going to determine what our body of our book looks like and what our headings look like in the title so the first thing we're going to work on I'm going to shrink this down so you can see how I get that box is our normal normal defines what the body of the text looks like it defines our um, it defines our margin the spacing all of that so we want to set that up first so to do that I'm going to go over here to styles. I'm going to click that so we get this box. We go down here to where it says manage styles and we click there. 
now we're going to click modify and we're going to get this box to open now here where it says formatting this is where we determine what our font or the size of our font and all of that is going to be for the body of our text so i'm going to keep this simple i'm going to scroll down to cambria and i'm going to choose 11 for my font and i'm going to go to format because i need to set up my margins for my overall book so i'm going to click format paragraph going to go here i'm going to add a first line indent of about a point three i'm going to make sure that all of this is zero i'm going to leave the spacing alone i'm going to click ok ok and ok now you're not going to see any changes yet because we don't have anything here to change just yet but you're going to see the magic in a minute the next thing we're going to set up is our heading so first we select that this is what our chapter one dialogue i mean chapter one um you know acknowledgements uh things like that those the headings of the pages so that's what we're setting up here so we're going to select heading and but we don't want to select that for our heading so i want to undo that i don't want to apply style i don't want that on here at all so I'm going to select heading though and I want to go over here to styles again manage the styles modify let's say we want those to be uh, Times New Roman we want it to be about a 14 now if you notice this is automatically set to blue we can change this to any color we want I'm going to change it to black we want this to be centered so we're going to change this to center now um yeah i'm and then that's going to be it for this so we're going to click ok for that and ok again now the next thing we want to select is our heading two so we're going to get click styles that little drop down again so we can get this to pop up if it's not popped up already we're going to go to manage styles we're going to go to modify uh let's say we want this one to be times new roman two and maybe we'll make that a 12 but we want this to be italicized make sure this is black and we want that to be centered as well and we click ok ok and we can leave our title well let's change our title too so we're going to go to title let's say we want the title to be uh well we can leave that cambria if it's already selected and let's make it a 18 and we're going to center that too so all of our title text is um, excuse me i got sign but okay so we click okay and i'll click okay now this is where the magic happens so this is the title of our story the story so we just go up here and select title now um i like to add like a couple like three or four or five um, spaces from the top of the paragraph in my title page only because of, I like to do that now for our name we're not going to select anything that's going to center that you can go over here and actually change that to a bigger size if you want to but you don't have to have a preset for that you can even um, just hit title again if you want to for your name it doesn't matter now then you're going to go down here we're going to do our chapter one so that's going to be a heading so we're going to highlight chapter one we're going to go here we're going to hit chapter one see how that uh, takes that over automatically then we're going to go over here we have a heading two so we're going to select that see how that does i love it magic now we're going to do something too if um you want to have space between either the chapter of your book or whatever if you want to have a space between the heading and that first paragraph you just go to either the uh, this part of your chapter one or uh, of your heading one or your heading two and then you go up here to paragraph select the line and paragraph spacing and then you go down to how much space you want to be in between there so you can make that have as much space in between there as you want but i'm going to select the 2.0 
now the last thing you know since we've already set up our page as you can see our um our document already has its uh <laughs> indents and everything properly placed so everything's done and it actually was quite easier to do the book in microsoft office 2016 than it is in microsoft office word so again i'm sandra n people's publishing coach and consultant with sandra n peoples.com and this video has been how to format a kindle book for publishing with with amazon using microsoft office word 2016. now if you have any questions about writing publishing promoting or selling your book feel free to go to my website at sandra peoples.com there is a contact page there you can click that link and you can email me your questions there and i will answer them as as i um, as soon as i'm available to if you need help with your book i do have services available at my site so just go to sandra peoples.com and look around there and see if you can find help so again thank you for watching be sure to subscribe so you'll be notified when i put out new videos and tutorials.